Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we just got to hang out with our friends after we just came back from Tartarus. Also, it seems like Yukari is still on her train of thought where she's really distrustful of Mitsuru. So she's asking Fuka to look into some stuff from 10 years ago to see what's going on, if we could get closer to the answer of, you know, what is Tartarus, what caused it, and how can we stop it. Anyways, in this episode, we're just going to continue hanging out as we get ever closer to the full moon. There will be a full moon in a week. You do understand what that means, yes? I know. Excellent. Good, that makes sure you're adequately prepared. We've got pretty much all of the best equipment. I am a tiny bit underleveled, but I have a feeling I'll be fine. I know Mitsuru said it already, but it'll be a full moon in just a week. Once you think about our time frame, the tension really starts rising, doesn't it? Hmm, what's up with Yukatan? It's like she's glaring daggers every time she looks at Kirijo Senpai. That's true. Yeah. Right? I wonder what happened. Maybe Senpai ate Yukatan's last bonbon. Alrighty, we're gonna hang out with Fuka today. Um, yes, can I help you? Uh, what are you doing? Say. Um, I'd like to check on the rooftop planters today if possible. Do you have some time right now, Yuki-kun? Well, the produ of the produce might increase, and Fuka might gain a new ability soon, so let's definitely hang out. Okay, let's head to the rooftop then. Yes, this looks good. Just to be safe, we should adjust the amount of fertilizer and make sure they get enough sun. They look like they're growing fine now. <sighs> what a relief. It's all thanks to you, Fuka. Oh, I only lent a helping hand. I'm sure tending them is important. But it's all thanks to the plants themselves for being so strong. You know, after I treated the plants when they were sick, I kept coming back here to check on them. I noticed that the spots where we had cut off the leaves were already sprouting new ones. And in just a little while, they were healthy and green all over again. Maybe I'm making a big deal of this, but it made me realize that life is actually quite amazing. It didn't matter that they had been weakened, or had damaged parts. Just giving them a little support was enough for them to show how strong they really are. We could learn from this. Yes, it really gave me hope. I think in a lot of ways, we're just like them. I'm not sure how to say it, but I hope I can be as resilient as these plants are. Fuka's looking tenderly at the plants we've grown together. And we get... Weakness Buffer. Reduces damage taken when an ally's weakness is struck. That's awesome! It'll certainly help you carry out. Locked Combat Characteristics. So basically what I've already explained, once you hang out with someone enough, they get new stuff for their theurgy. I think I'll check on the plants one more time, just to show my appreciation. Maybe if I keep thanking them, they'll grow even healthier. Alright, that should do it. Shall we head back down? Hey? Can you guess what I'm going to tell you? I think so. You're used to it by now, huh? The next full moon will be in one week. Are you prepared? Be careful, okay? And don't worry, I'll come see you again. So yeah, aside from Pharos giving us a warning about what's upcoming in a week, we just reached the end of Fuka's plant uh, hangouts. If you continue hanging out with her when tending plants, uh, you won't get anything new out of it except, you know, just getting better produce. So, the only time we'll really be able to hang out with Fuka in the dorms again is if she goes somewhere else. I think she does have another... I think we did have another hangout with her in the book area. So, yeah, we'll still have some hangouts with Fuka. Plus her entire social link, so... Good morning. The next full moon is almost upon us. Are you feeling prepared? Of course. Good, I'm counting on you. According to the cycle, it should appear on July 7th at midnight. That's six days from now. The number of incidents has also incre been increasing as we've gotten closer to the full moon. So stay alert. Uh, oh, we can't rank up Yuko. Ah, oh, but we are so close to 
We just need to hang out with her one more time and then we'll be... Uh, where is it? Yeah, we just need to hang out with her one more time and... Okay. Well, I guess instead, next uh, Sunday we'll be ranking up Yuko's thing. Because... Where's Chihiro at? Oh, she's at 8 too. Okay, next Sunday I have to finally put down my foot and make the decision for who I want to romance. Yeah. It's not that big of a decision. Um, I've honestly kind of been putting more emphasis on it than I, than I necessarily need to. Um, it's not going to really affect anything except who we get to hang out with on certain days. Because there will be some fun special events and if you're dating someone you get to have a special event with them. Who else do we have? Uh, more Bebe stuff, so... Let's keep the train rolling. Makoto Dono. Did I spell your name correctly? It's so together. I am in the hallway. Again, I apologize for my horrible Ladies. French accent. Oh, Makoto Dono, how do you do? If you have this time to spare, would you care to join me for sewing? I must sew. Many thanks. Katachi can I. You have a great sense you have a great sense for sewing, Makoto Dono. Please do show me more of your skills today. So up, so down, so all around. If the cuckoo doesn't sew, then I will show it. We should take a break for now. You have gotten much better at this. Tsubarashi, wonderful. Uh, thanks. I have to get better too. I am glad to have such a great Tomodachi as my rival. By the way, I have a question for you. I would like to make something in Japanese, but what? Best option to say here is, how about a kimono? A kimono! Yes! It has to be a kimono! But, uh, kimonos are very hard to make. I don't really know where to start. And the material is not exactly affordable. Hmm. I have to think about it. But I appreciate the advice. You are the only one I can talk to here in this country. As long as I have you, I will be okay. Daijoubu. Bebe seems pretty grateful. I feel like we're growing closer. Oh la la, look at the time. I must make my way home now. Peace out! Parted ways with Bebe and went back to the dorm. One thing that's unfortunate is I learned that if you make him say, I'll be back, he says it like the Terminator. Like the, I'll be back. Oh, you're back. Did you hear? The next operation will be on July 7th. That means it's going to be a Star Festival special bout. I don't know what you're talking about, but hey, I can hang out with you. As you may recall, I handled support before Yamagishi joined us, so I was worried my sword skills might have deteriorated. However, muscle memory kicked in and I seemed to be capable as ever. Um... There's still so much we don't know about Tartarus and Shadows, but at least we know when the next operation will be, so we can prepare for it. So, how well do you usually prepare anyway, Yuki-kun? I prepare thoroughly. Oh, wow. Really? I'm impressed! No wonder you're our leader. Oh, Yuki. Can you help me out with cooking again? It's a lot for me to do by myself. I already have all the ingredients, so can you help me? Sure, I'll help. I owe you one. Thanks. Then let's get to it. I recently expanded my outdoor exercise regimen, and I wanted to boost my nutrition and match. So I got some pork liver today because it's supposed to be rich in iron. But I don't think it'll taste like much if I just boil it like usual. That's why I'm gonna try cooking a pork liver stir fry. I already looked up how to make it. Think you can help out? You bet. Good to hear. You like this dish too? I've already cleaned the meat ahead of time. All that's left is to cook the liver, and stir the chives and bean sprouts in. And that should be it. Wow, this is great! I guess it was a good thing I took the time for all that prep. They say a boxing match is decided before the bell even rings. Maybe this is kind of the same thing. Oh, sorry. Obviously, this wouldn't have been possible without your help. I've still got a lot to learn. 
but it's hard to make time for it with all my training and stuff. Maybe if I attach weights to the pen when I'm flipping, I could kill two birds with one stone. No big plot stuff happening in the morning, so we're back to social links. Miyamoto or Hiraga? Who do we want to hang out with? How far along is Miyamoto? Because I don't think I've hung out with him at all. Three? Yeah, let's go ahead and see if, if we could get a bunch of uh, Miyamoto stuff out of the way. I, Chimera, my self deformed, my power now yours. Oh, Persona Fusion Milestone. Thank you for your assistance. Uh, got five Twilight Fragments. Awesome. So our next milestone is 35, so we need to do 15 more. Track practice! You're coming today, right? You better. It does make sense if he's like, you better come today because we haven't gone to track practice in probably months at this point. Oh, Yuki, you going to practice today? Sorry, man, just go on without me. Yeah, I'm gonna head over too, just give me a sec. I don't see Miyamoto. Well, we're out of here. Take it easy. Good hustle out there. You'd better wrap up too. See you next practice. I started on my way back to the dorm after practice. Whoa! What's up? I was just gonna sneak back into practice. Where have you been? My mom's been on my case. She took me to the hospital. She insisted after I told her about my knee. She made the appointment without telling me, so there was nothing I could do. Best option to say here is, that really sucks. You said it. I don't get why my mom and the rest of the team are acting like this. It's exhausting having everyone up in your business. Today they took some x-rays. They'll give me the results in a few days. Not sure why that has to take so long. Oh hey, don't tell anyone about me going to the hospital, right? I'm counting on you. I feel bad for always asking you to keep things quiet. Sorry about that. Miyamoto seems appreciative of me. I feel like we're becoming closer. The doctor told me to take it easy today, but we should still get to practice. Oh, wait, if you're leaving, that means practice is already over. Well, guess I'll just go home. See ya. I decided to go back to the dorm. In case it isn't obvious already, don't follow him as an example. This is the worst way to treat an injury if you're into athle if you're into athletic stuff or just in general. Hi, how's your day? Our next battle may be drawing near, but don't get too nervous. If you do, you might find yourself freezing up. Try and stay as relaxed as you can. Um, um can I help you? By the way. Oh yeah, have you been keeping track of the moon phases each month, Yuki? Of course. It's right up in the top right corner of the screen. Well that's reassuring. Guess that's what makes makes you our leader. Rachel Senpai never tells us more than what she thinks we need to know. That's just how she is. Yeah, but... yeah, I guess telling everyone everything isn't really her style, but... Well, I don't know. Alright, let's hope Hakakuri is open. Please. It is. Thank gosh. Let's hope we rank up. Please. Oh, come on. I mean, I know it's not going to be as easy as this, as Courage was. Ow, I bit my tongue. But, come on, it feels like we've been at this part forever. I can hear people talking. By the way. Hey, get this. The other night, my boyfriend casually tried to take me to Shirakawa Boulevard on a date. Excuse me? What? No way. That Shirakawa Boulevard? Ew, he's, he totally had an ulterior motive. Yep, yep. We just started dating, but I'm already getting creeped out. His head's always in the gutter. Maybe I should dump him. I don't want to end up like those couples from the rumors. You know, the ones found unconscious somewhere? As you should all know, there are many theories about the author Murasaki Shikibu. The tale of Genji was authored by someone else. That, 
else that Murasaki Shikibu was a shared pen name. Some have even suggested that Murasaki Shikibu was an alien from outer space. Truly intriguing theory. You've probably seen her portrait, it's printed on the 2000 yen bill. Well, since we're on the topic of Murasaki Shikibu, here's a question regarding the tale of Genji. Thou shalt not recite such a tale of the world of before the we princess. Understand. Now, what such tale does this quote refer to? Yori, go on and answer. Huh? huh? Me? Hey, let me a hand here, Makoto. What kind of tale is he talking about? That would be about romance. Well, the answer was pretty awesome. Correct. Too easy, was it? The world used in the sentence refers to the world of relationships and romance. Therefore, he is told not to read tales of the romance in front of the princess. However, world can also refer to society or mankind, like how it is often used today. Make sure you read it correctly based on the given context. Now on to the next one. You're a lifesaver! <sighs> Thanks, Makoto. You're a lifesaver. Yukikun really got Iori out of a pinch back there. He's such a nice guy. I think that text might change if you're higher up on the... If you have a higher charm ranking, I'm not sure. I mean, it certainly changed, I'm just not entirely sure the means. Alright, who we got? Ooh, more Fuka stuff! Also, I love uh, how some of Miyamoto's texts are replies to his own email, and it keeps stacking, so his current one is Ari Ari Ari, it's Miyamoto. If you don't mind, would you like to go home together? I'll be waiting in the second floor hallway. I'd love to chat with you on the way back. I was walking around the other day and this weird guy walked up to me. He didn't wear a shirt and he had a weird tattoos, but I tried to look away. I accidentally looked right into his eyes. They were the coldest eyes I'd ever seen, and then he smiled at me. God, even thinking about it gives me shivers all the way down my back. If only I had been Kurijo Senpai, I would have fainted on the spot. Oh, Yuki-kun, I'm just about to head, ho head home. How about you? Uh -huh. Okay, then let's go. Now that I think about it, even though we live in the same dorm, we've never gone back together before. Remember how I told you I wanted to improve my cooking? Well, I've been trying a lot since then, but I can never seem to get the taste right. I still don't have a feel for how much salt to add. How do you do it? Best option to say here is uh, just a dash or two. A dash? So speed is important? Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. I've just been pouring it in slowly. I'll try and remember that. To tell you the truth, I was actually hoping I could make something you'd really like. But I don't think I'll be able to do that for a while. <laughs> Maybe cooking just isn't for me. <sighs> oh, sorry. I know you're just trying to help me, and all I'm doing is being negative. Best option to say here is just take it slow. Thank you. That really means a lot to me. I've never had someone be so supportive of me like this before. I actually have quite a lot of trouble staying optimistic about things. In my head, I always imagine something going horribly wrong. That's why sometimes I feel like giving up when I'm cooking. But you know, when I'm around you or the rest of the team, I never think like that. You've all given me so much confidence in myself. So, I'm really thankful to be a member of Seas. That's why I want to show you all my gratitude. Fuka's starting to trust me. Seems we've grown closer. Maybe I should watch one of those cooking shows on TV. Actually, it might be a little too advanced for me. The library might have some books for beginners, though. Mm, but in that case, I can't really read while cooking. I wouldn't want to get the pages dirty. Uh, I'll help you find something. Oh, you don't mind? But... Mm, I don't know. If we're looking for books... That means we'd need to go to the bookstore. It's not a big deal or anything, but I don't really like going to bookstores. Oh my gosh, when did it get so late? I have to go. Um, the hairdryer burned out, so I was planning on fixing it. But I was hoping to get it done before Yukari-chan and the others got back. Sorry, do you mind if we up the pace on the way back? 
Hey Makoto, have you heard? Shadows are attacking couples now. I bet the shadow behind it is one jealous and lonely son of a gun. How sad. If I'm not mistaken, the next shadow will reveal itself soon. We have a full moon coming up on the 7th. I expect the dark hour that night to be eventful. This next operation will be crucial to my research. Make sure you've prepared for the next full moon. Hello. It appears that the number of the lost is increasing again. This time, however, it seems that many of the new cases specifically involve couples. Hmm, perhaps who the shadows target is dictated by the time of year. And finally, we have Yukari to talk to here, and we'll have to uh, eat some more of her food. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and hang out with Yukari, and we'll probably... It'll probably be the last episode before we end up uh, going on the next full moon operation. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Oh.